So I want to go over some of the review material so we don't get um, too far behind. Um, and the first thing, I assume most of this stuff um, that I assigned to you was um, true review for you. Um, this is from section A7 about roots and radicals. So, and we have this basic, I'll just go over the basics and remind you. So if n is greater than or equal to 2 and is a positive integer, and a is a real number, then the nth root of a to the n is the absolute value of a when n is even and the nth root this same expression is just a when n is odd but when n is even you get this idea for example the square root of negative 3 squared is actually equal to positive 3 and that's where this um, absolute value comes in okay so a couple examples the cube root of negative 125 um, simplifying these roots goes back to finding prime factorizations if you remember doing that and for example maybe you identify or can easily identify that 125 is negative 5 cubed. This is an odd root so this should just be negative 5 simplified. Okay? But when I have say the fourth root of m to the fourth power and I don't know anything about m then this is the absolute value of m whatever it is. Okay? Sometimes, and you have to watch the language in the instructions, sometimes they'll have this note where it'll say um, assume all variables are positive and when it says that then this absolute value if m is a positive number absolute value of m is just m if this assumption is true okay so sometimes you'll see that and, and um, that happens um, on some occasions okay okay the other thing I want to remind you of is how roots are related to rational exponents so we have this relationship or definition a to the m divided by n is equal to the nth root of a to the mth power or and this variation also holds the nth root of a all raised to the nth power um, this is true uh, under these conditions a is real which probably from now on I'll write a is an element of the real numbers like that um, n is an integer and n is greater than or equal to 2. Okay, so we have this connection between um, radicals and rational exponents. For example, I have 16 to the 3 halves power. If you're doing this on your calculator, you can just put this in. Uh, if you're doing this by hand, you really need to recognize this as the square root of 16 and you get to decide where to put this third power since 16 is a perfect square putting it on the outside makes sense because I can easily find that this is 4 cubed and 4 cubed should be I think 64 another example when you're simplifying the negative, negative 32 to the 3 fifths power. This negative out here is outside of this power. So when you simplify this thing needs to go out here. 
Uh, it's the cubed, oops, it's not the cubed root. This denominator is right here is the index, negative 32. Uh, 32 is a perfect fifth, I believe. I think it's 2 to the 5th power, so the way you'll simplify is that this is negative, and when I simplify this, I believe this is negative 2 to the 5th power. Let's check, 2 times 2 is 4, 8, 16, yeah, 32. Cubed. <clears throat> this comes out as negative 2, and that's cubed. Negative 2 to the cubed is negative 8, and this should be positive 8, okay? Okay. Um, the other thing that you'll see, example, so this notation you can go back and forth depending on what is useful to you. Sometimes it's useful to work with things as rational exponents because all of those exponent rules that we used before work with rational exponents. So when you multiply things together, you can add exponents. All of that works. So sometimes you also want to go the other way, rewrite with rational exponents. And the example is 5x over y cubed like that. Here, the index here is a hidden 2, so I get 5x over y, and this is really to the 3 halves power. Okay, so use either one of the notations, either radical notation or these rational exponents in a way that will be helpful and will make your life easier in the problems that we're working. Okay? I also assume that you um, are familiar with how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide radical expressions. And if you're not, there's another extra video um, for a different class that I did, and I go over a little bit of that. Um, but that should be um, what... Um, what I kind of wanted to cover for radicals or roots for you. Okay, so please let me know if you have questions.